Hello everyone, today's video is probably be the conclusion of my little uh, kind of tutorial how to do a series on rolling line, and that's how to do tunnels. Uh, tunnels, fortunately, are really straightforward, but if you want to kind of take them the rest of the way, there's one extra step which some people miss, and we'll show that off. So let's go ahead and do it. So the simplest way to do a tunnel is to simply go over to the track that you want to be a tunnel, and then go ahead and define it as a tunnel. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, Enable bulk editing. We're going to go ahead and set enable all track or edit all track. We're going to go ahead over to this side of the table here and we'll make this a tunnel. So I'll press Q. We're going to go ahead and add a new feature and we're going to go ahead and pick the tunnel feature. Now, a couple different style tunnels we can go through. We can make a really tall, we can make a normal one, we can do a double track tunnel. Again, it's completely up to you kind of what style that you want to use here. Another thing that's worth noting too is you can also make it like a left side or a right side tunnel if you want to make it like a double thick tunnel or something along those lines. Completely up to you kind of how you want to sort of set that up. For now, I'm perfectly happy with that. Once you've established it, I'm going to go ahead and copy here. We're going to go ahead and make this go right around the corner. And uh, that looks pretty good too. And I like it. Perfect. Put that away, hit the close menu, and now we just gotta fix the entrances to our tunnel. Uh, doing that super duper simple, uh, we can just go under doodads here. We're gonna grab track doodads, and what we'll have is we'll have tunnel entrances. And notice there's different styles depending on how big the opening is here. So I got this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this like this. Uh, notice we do not have snapping, so you're gonna have to get a little fancy. Like I say, I try to get it close, and then I grab the FT uh, tool, and I just kinda, just like that, make it nice and pretty. Go ahead and make a copy of that and go ahead and toss it on this side as well. Now, some of you are probably going, well, this is great and all, but um, I, you know, I wanted this thing to like go through a mountain or something like that. That's fine. But um, if you're going to do that, you got to remember that the mountain is going to sit on top of the tunnel. There is no tool as of yet that allows you to punch through a mountain with your, you know, there's no special occlusion. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a locomotive. And I just want to show something off real quick. Reverse. Let's jump inside. Whoa. Uh-oh. Eh. These things are expensive. I shouldn't be throwing around like that. Well, there we go. In we go. So now, as we crawl into this tunnel, you notice that little gap there? Oh, we can fix that, by the way. Do you notice anything kind of boring about this tunnel? You know, it feels really, really bright in here. Like, you know, I'm just kind of cruising along and... You know, I'll speed up a little bit to make it a little bit clearer, and I'm not blinded when I exit the tunnel here. But you probably noticed when you played other missions inside of this, you've probably seen other layouts where you actually get blinded when you come back out of the tunnel. I'll go ahead and get out of this thing real fast. Hey, get over here. Let's go ahead and stick you back. And that's because they have a special tool that enables that tunnel effect. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to press the View Advanced Options, and see where it says Tunnel Regions. I'm going to click that button, and as soon as you do that, what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to add regions. You can see at one point it was actually fitting with it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add New Region. So what's going to happen now is when I click these, do you see where it says it's locked to set angles and can't be rotated? That's a little annoying, but it's not the end of the world for us, and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to try to get that roughly as close to that as I can. That looks pretty good right there. Go ahead and make a copy of it. I'm going to go place one over here. Uh, we need one more that's going to go over here. Uh, this looks pretty good. And now the cool thing here is I'm actually just going to use my edit tool to go ahead and clean this up. You're allowed to overlap these and nothing bad will happen. So I can actually go like this. So now my tunnel is going to start when it gets there and it's going to pick up well, where it left off kind of when it gets to the stage here. Uh, one thing we can do too is we can make the tunnel zone a little bit bigger. Again, I'm dragging from that center point. Let and let go. So now what we've done is we've created this special tunnel zone here. Sometimes you have to be very precise with these, but because I have nothing else really going on over here. I'm not really that worried about them. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and uh, pop some of those on there too. So it looks actually what we could do is just, there we go. Beautiful. It's okay that they're a little messy here. That's not going to do any damage as long as, like I said, we're covering the entire tunnel region. So let's go back over to the map now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say apply. So now watch what happens when I go into my little train here. Forward! Check this out. <laughs> I'm actually in a tunnel now. Cool, huh? So now if you actually flip your headlight on, you can see it reflecting the edge of the tunnel. So now if I pick up speed here. I'm blind. Nah, it's okay. You can see how cool that effect is. You know, the little tiny bit of detail there really goes a long way as far as making that convincing. Now, what you can do here, which gets a little extreme, is you can really goof around with these tunnels here. Uh, if you're in a situation where you wanted to do a double wide track, like we'll do real quickly, it's a little more involved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and go ahead and cancel this out real quick. We'll destroy this one. I'm gonna destroy that one. We'll go ahead and take our track here. We're actually gonna grab our classic track style. Go ahead and uh, make a copy of that just so we can override our fancy pants work 
over the tunnel. Now it's going to be a little tricky, but not impossible to do, but I'll show you what I mean. Go ahead and hide that. Let's go ahead and now grab this piece of track, and we're going to hit the F7 key to turn on track snapping, and we're just going to snap the track. Again, I'm just holding down shift there. Go ahead and delete that. And we'll stick that on there like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the track options here. We're going to add the tunnel feature. And what we're going to do this time is instead of doing it like that, we're going to make it so it's only one side of the tunnel. So I'm going to come in here and say, only give me the right side. Go ahead and copy that effect. Let's go ahead and grab the other one. And we're just going to do the same thing, but we're going to use the left side. Close menu, close menu. Thank you, have been very helpful. Q, and we're going to add the track again. Grab that lovely tunnel. And now notice it's uh, got the wrong side. <laughs> right side. Oh, we need the left side. Sorry about that. Boop. And now we have ourselves kind of that double track. Now what you probably observe is we have a really large gap in the middle. Uh, the reason for that is we have to actually tell it that we're doing double track in order to prevent that from happening. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. We'll go ahead and paste it like that. So now what we're going to do is I'll go ahead and edit that other one. We'll go ahead and close this menu out. We don't need it anymore. Let's come down to this one. Track options. Let's go ahead and make it a double tunnel. Ta-da! Copy. Close this sucker. And we'll just go ahead and fix the damage that it just caused there. Boop. 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 And one more boop for good luck there. And press RAR. We're going to go ahead and close this menu. And now you can see I have a much, much, much larger tunnel here. Of course, that means when we come over in this side, we need to make sure that we get the big tunnel entrance. Ha ha ha. Look at that. It's perfectly sized for us. Well, I think I have to fit with that a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, you get the idea. Perfect. And now I have myself a little tunnel. Now, when you're working with tunnels, and I'm going to kind of half this one real quickly, if, uh, right there. We can actually make it a little larger, too, if we need to. There we go. Actually, I like that one better. Give me that one. <laughs> yeah, I'll call it right there. I don't want to get, again, you can get very, very, very speci uh, specific about getting these things placed properly. Okay, this one, we'll just rotate it a little bit. We'll shift it to the way side a little bit. All right, good enough. Don't touch it. <laughs> Otherwise, like I said, you'll have too much fun. Okay, so now that we have this tunnel, how do you conceal this? Well, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Uh, the simplest way that I like to do it is to grab some terrain. That makes sense. You know, you've got all these bushes and things which aren't going to do you much. But if you go into here to mountains, there's actually a feature that kind of looks like a kind of a hole in the side. Now, the thing you always got to remember here is you can grab these chunks of stuff and you can always change their size. Uh, so one of these things, for example, let's grab this uh, little smidge right here. Let's say I want to kind of conceal this. So I can click here and I can roll my mouse wheel and I can make this nice and big like that. I'll uh, we'll try to be careful not to kind of overlight it. So then, of course, uh, we'll go ahead and grab some rock to put up on the tippy top. Before I do that, though, I'm actually going to lock everything because I don't want to accidentally here. There we go. And then I can come up here and we can toss some uh, rock. Now, one of the problems you're going to run into is, like I mentioned before, the tunnel will not carve its way out of the terrain. So what you end up having to do a lot of is end up coming up here and gra grabbing your edit tool, kind of doing one of these sort of things to sort of, uh, you know, be subtle about it is uh, sort of what I like to say. Again, there are no consequences on this particular terrain set for overlapping things. Nothing bad's going to happen here. One thing I watch out for, though, uh, right there. Perfect. So now basically what I'm doing is I'm building up a hidden in tunnel entrance here just by grabbing a bunch of little pieces of terrain and just kind of wedging them together. Again, they don't have to be perfect, and it's always something you can kind of come in and like make little rotations or something to try to make it a little bit more fair. That looks pretty good right there. Let's go get a flat rock to go stick it up on the top like that. And right there. Ta-da! Yeah, I know. It's not that good. <laughs> there are much, much better experts at stuff like this, but I'm um, pretty proud with what I have. But now you can see I've got kind of like the little uh, secret volcano entrance here that I can uh, conceal. There we go. Sweet. So now, of course, what you can do after, you know, building your little piece here with a tunnel is we can go through and, of course, you know, change the color. So if we wanted to, we could come fly over here, go into our color palette. Oh, let's say I want to make this like, I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to make it this color because I believe this one's actually a multi-paint one. I'll put this down for a second. Nope. It's just a straight. So you can see like that, I can come in like this and kind of conceal, uh, sort of all my handiwork here a little bit better. Boop, right click, delete, sweet. And again, you have yourselves a very, very good tunnel. Now, one of the cool things here is if I go ahead and grab that piece of track now, let's say I'll go back to edit track mode real fast. We're going to run into an interesting problem. Let me show you why. Come in here. Oh, there's that piece of track I really want to grow. Let me go ahead and uh, grab it. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to connect it. Bonk. Oh, 
<laughs> you can see it's going to take the tunnel with it. So when it does occur, all you have to do is go back in here and you can just go ahead and get rid of the tunnel. And now once it's gone, you're all set to that effect. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like I said, this will be kind of the last in our little uh, tracky things. Uh, the rest from this point forward, uh, once you get the track the way you want it, is really a matter of adding the details. Now, when it comes to adding the details, some of the details are pretty easy to do. Uh, some of the details are a little bit more complicated. But like I said, I just wanted to put together something that people who are new to the game or were curious about the game kind of had something to kind of go off of to say, hey, that's not so bad. I could get behind that. Uh, for those of you playing VR, by the way, <laughs> it's a slightly different experience placing track. I'm not saying it's easier or harder. I'm just saying it's a little different. And because of the way I set my controls up, I have to do everything left-handed. Makes it makes it kind of fun. So, you know, we got to kind of end this in a sort of appropriate way here. So I'm actually going to flip this train around here. I'm going to grab this train real quick. Put this one right there. I'm going to flip that one around real quick. And uh, let's cause some clipping issues. <laughs> I'm going to put this thing away. Uh, how are you doing there? Uh, select. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait for it. <laughs> All right, other than that, enjoy.